The idea of cars driving themselves is appealing for some and terrifying for others. So that technology still has a long way to go, but different forms of automated driving assistance are being used on the roads right now, and it's leading to some growing concern over unexplained accidents. Spotlight on America correspondent Angie Moreski investigates. Again and again, in the dark of night, Teslas using autopilot failed to stop, slamming into emergency vehicles on the road, putting first responders at risk. We had a white Tesla that blew through our closure. California Highway Patrol Officer Jesse Matias was on scene in July of 2021. A massive 3 a.m. response to an already deadly crash. A mile of San Diego Highway blocked off, but the Tesla did not stop. It was not slowing down. It was not reacting to any emergency lights on scene. Officers were sent running. We started yelling, car coming, car coming, you know, get out of the way, car coming. It happened again this past March. This time, four firefighters in Contra Costa County, California, suffered minor injuries when a Tesla on autopilot failed to stop for their fire truck, despite flashing lights at the accident scene. We're very worried. It's a new element that presents risk to our firefighters. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, is investigating at least 16 crashes involving Teslas operating with autopilot engaged hitting emergency vehicles, resulting in at least 15 injuries and one death. I'm concerned that this is like a canary in the coal mine. University of South Carolina professor uh, Bryant Walker Smith driver. is an international expert on driving automation and its legal implications. Why are so many of these Teslas crashing into emergency vehicles? Here's the basic promise of Tesla's autopilot and in fact any driver assistance system. That promise is it will work unless and until it doesn't. It's true. Automakers like Tesla and others maintain there is no guarantee their advanced driver assist systems will always work. And they put the onus on you to be ready at all times to take over. The assumption is that an alert, attentive human driver will be there to monitor, correct, step in, to basically do all of the driving. Unfortunately, too often that message isn't getting through. In this dramatic example under investigation in North Carolina, the doctor driving the Tesla told investigators he was watching a movie on his cell phone. And our Spotlight on America investigation found drivers and other crashes admitted to everything from checking on their dog in the back seat to simply not paying attention before impact. Last summer, NHTSA expanded its investigation of Tesla's autopilot system beyond just emergency vehicle accidents to include more than 100 crashes involving other cars. And just this month, the federal agency sent this letter to Tesla demanding it send more information on the crashes or face fines of up to more than $130,000 a day. For first responders, the uncertainty is adding to the anxiety of an already difficult job. We have a lot of ways to be distracted on the highway, and, and now we have another one because your car allows you to not pay attention. It places our firefighters at risk. NHTSA would not agree to an interview with Spotlight on America, saying they won't comment on open investigations. And Tesla did not respond to our request for an interview. For Spotlight on America, I'm Angie Moreski.